Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on Game of Thrones, so they finally have released the Season 8 trailer. I am so excited to talk about it with you guys today, so if you do go on to enjoy the video and you want to see more Game of Thrones content as we head towards Game of Thrones, the final season, we're going to be doing loads. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe for those videos. So, alright, let's go ahead and get right into this. Talk about Game of Thrones, talk about everything we need to talk about. Alright, so let's get into this. So the first shot of the trailer is of Arya, and she's running through, I guess it's Winterfell, I'm unsure. It's really, really dark, but there's multiple scenes that's all cut and woven together. So with some sort of voice overlay where we will get to the shot in a second, but she's talking about the different ways of how she has seen death and death has many faces essentially but yeah so we get her all bloodied up she's running around so this is obviously during the battle because she's running away and you hear the sort of i guess white walker type noises it's more like zombies so yeah i guess it is but yeah so that's just nicely edited because they don't reveal who is chasing her and like who she's fighting but we can presume it is the white walkers all right so let's move on to the next shot and so the next shot after this is Davos as he's walking across some battlements, so I'm guessing, again, it looks like Winterfell, I think a lot of this is all from very early on, so I would say up to episode 3, I'm guessing, because we know episode 3 is going to be a massive fight episode, we know it's going to be a big battle, so I'm presuming that's going to be all out to Winterfell, and they're going to be gearing up for that in the first two episodes, and as you know, Game of Thrones, the final season, is going to be actually airing episodes that are, I believe, one hour long each, so apparently they feel like a film each, which is amazing, and I really can't wait. Let's move on to the next shot, we see Varys and the women and children hiding inside the crypts, this is most likely during the battle, and we go over to that specific scene I talked about earlier, where we see Arya, and she's got her dagger, and this is where the voice overlay comes from. And so we move on to the next shot, and this next shot is in fact of Euron and the Golden Company finally arriving, obviously, presumably on the way to King's Landing, probably to meet Cersei for the very first time, but they are going to be a massive thing, I'm guessing as long as, you know, the South is alright. So presumably they might stay on the side of Cersei, but I have this sneaking feeling, this sneaking suspicion that when they see the dead, they might scramble and they might just go away because, you know, it's all about money for them. You see the next shot, you see the leader of the Golden Company and his soldiers all dressed in gold. Very, very symbolic and similar to some of the drawings you can actually see online. And so moving on to the next shot, we get to see presumably it looks like the crypts. It's similar lighting, but you see Barrack, Torment, and Ed. They are all confirmed to be alive after this scene because at the end of season 7, if you remember, we didn't find out the fates of so many of the characters, especially on the wall. Like, we didn't know that these people were right, but this confirms that, yes, they are okay. So that's great news. And so we see Samwell and he's with Bran and Bran's in the background. So presumably again in Winterfell and the camera focuses on Sam, so he's obviously looking at something and he looks kind of scared. But moving on to the next shot, and this contains daylight, and we are back in King's Landing, we see Cersei, and she's smirking, and it looks like potentially she's looking out to the sea, so maybe she's seeing the Golden Company arrive, and yes. So let's move on to the next one, we see a kid as he looks at what looks like the army that Jon Snow and Daenerys are going to be building up as they start to march out of the town. And this very same shot, it looks like we see Jon and Daenerys actually riding along with them. And they are obviously very, very sort of contrasted in their colours. And I really, really like that because it stands out a lot. And they've changed Daenerys' suit, I do believe. I think they put some red underneath it. Alright, so moving on to the next shot, we see Sansa as she's presumably seeing Daenerys' dragons for the first time. Well, seeing dragons in the first place for the first time. So she looks like she's utterly shocked. And so I think Sansa's going to potentially have a tough time actually coming to grips that they are working with a Targaryen. I think some of the people up north are, but they will eventually get round to it as you can see in the trailer. But the next shot is of the two dragons actually leaving Winterfell as they fly off into the air. And so this is where we go back to presumably the crypts. It looks like they're in the crypts and this is Jon and 
Daenerys as John looks like he's looking at one of the statues. Maybe it's his mum, or maybe it is his dad. We don't know, but I'm presuming it's probably his dad. And so Daenerys looks like she's comforting him, and I'm guessing this is during the calm before the storm when everything is just about to go to shit. And so we move on and we see Gendry as he is with some of the workers, presumably. He's going to be getting some more soldiers for them to do, and you know, they're going to be making weapons and so on. And we see Sir Jorah Mormon and he's riding a horse and it seems like this is the middle of the battle so presumably this is episode 3 and then we go over and we see Grey Worm and Masande actually kiss so they're continuing that and Grey Worm we know he's going to be on the front lines and Masande is probably going to be with Daenerys for most of the time and so we get to see this shot and this is during the battle and it looks like this is Jamie because the following shot is of Jamie shouting and he's sort of going a bit crazy and everything is extremely colourful, it's all very sort of silhouetted and oranges so presumably there's a lot of fire going on but yeah so that's a massive fight scene presumably from episode 3 because it doesn't look like they're actually showing much past that but they have confirmed there's going to be a lot of big deaths and major deaths throughout well, as we go towards episode 3, and I'm guessing episode 3 is when we're going to lose a lot of people. And so we get Cersei with her wine glass, which is very iconic by now. And it kind of looks like she's sad. Maybe she's lost the baby or something like that. Or maybe, you know, she's sort of given up. Maybe this is later in episode 3, I don't know. But, yeah, so she sort of smirks after in the same shot, but... I don't know, she looks sad. And so next shot is of the dragons as they fly through really far north actually, it looks very far north. So I'm guessing Jon and Daenerys are right out there as we will see later in this trailer breakdown. Arya, we get to see her as she looks into the sky so presumably this is maybe her seeing the dragons for the first time. I don't know but I don't see why else unless it's a massive attack and this attack is of, obviously, the Night King on Viserion. Maybe that's happening right there. Alright, so moving on to the next shot, we see Grey Worm as he's with the, with his army, and they are about to gear up for battle as he puts his helmet on. And we see Jon by the tree, but we get to see the Hound. This kind of parallels what happened in that massive fight a couple of seasons ago, and you see the fire in the background, so I think that's a nice little parallel that they've got going, and Jamie is sort of seemingly a bit angry, and we get the shot of John as he's in this battle, like I said, fire everywhere, and he's running, and so presumably they're fighting the dead. I guess they could be fighting Cersei's army, but I don't think that's going to happen until much later. I think the first few episodes are going to be all situated in Winterfell as the trailer suggests so we get this shot of some of the soldiers rushing back into what looks like Winterfell or it could be running away I have no idea but the next shot is what I said earlier with the dragons flying around we see them on the ground and there's loads of bones so presumably loads of animals they picked up I don't know what they are but you see Jon as his sort of cape is floating in the air which is amazing and Daenerys walking along with him and so this other shot is just you know shot reverse shot and we get to see the dragons as they are on the mountains with Jon and Daenerys. We see Sansa and Sansa this is just a different angle nothing too special and Arya is fighting it looks like she's fighting in the crypts which is very interesting but we see this shot of Daenerys and she's closing her eyes so it looks like potentially she's got some very bad news here this could be what I was saying episode 3, maybe Jorah Mormon dies, maybe someone very close to her, but I don't think it's going to be Jon Snow. He could die by the end of the season, but I'm still a bit unsure as to who particularly is going to die, but I think this could be one of those moments where Daenerys finds out that someone has died. And we see Tyrion as he's on the ground and it's in the daylight, so again, not during the battle. And we get one of the last shots is of the dragon and he is breathing fire as it fades to the army and it's a whole mishmash of people. We see Brienne, we see Podrick, we see the soldiers behind and it seems like from what I know it's a mix between the Stark and Targaryen chess pieces like they've actually mished it up which is 
very very interesting and we see this last shot of Jorah and the final shot of the trailer is of one of the White Walkers horse things, I don't know what to call them, zombie horses. And so this could be the Night King, but presumably the Night King may still be on Viserion unless they want to actually preserve that, I don't know, so it doesn't get shut down so it can use that for the final battle when they kill everyone. I don't know how the Night King thinks, but anyway, they are definitely approaching because it looks very Western-like, like it's a standoff. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this and you want to see more Game of Thrones videos from me, Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss anything. So we'll be going and making lots of videos as we head towards April as we get season 8. I'm so excited and so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.